So um, I, I think uh, maybe with all the isms and everything, we kind of get caught up in the naming of things. And we're not, we don't look at the core. I think the core of it all is power. We, we, we have a, um, most of us are used to being the, the thing that power is used on. And when we get a chance to have the, the power, we really don't know how to act. So, so as an individual, your, your, your place in society gives you a certain level of power. As an adult, the, again, the society gives you that level of power over your child. Un the thing that unschooling does for me is it challenges the idea of where power lies. And it also challenges the, the concept that even knowing, knowing the things that you know, being oppressed by power in whatever circumstance you are. You can be rich, you can be white, and still, still have things put down on you. You can be a, a, a rich white woman and still be subject to the, the whatever's of a rich white man. The, the, the power dynamics don't just trickle down, they trickle up as well. So I, I think it's, it's important that when we, when we dissect and reconfigure and try to label and, and, and decide what unschooling is, we, we don't lose the essence of, of what the thing is just in order to label it, just in order to put it in the context of something that we've already known and we've already gone through. The term unschooling is just something that, that is trying to put into a box the idea that what you're used to, what, what your growth and what, what the experiences you've had, reanalyze them. Look at them through the context of what you know now instead of assuming what was happening in the past is right. When, whenever you have an, an, an issue with, with power, you're going to have upheavals. There's going to be people that want to challenge your power. Having a clean wall in a clean, nice building, if there's graffiti on the wall, the, the, the need for graffiti is to, to fight that system. It's to say something is wrong with your clean walls and your tall buildings. It's not built on something for everyone. So when you see something, you may see it as being dirty. You may see it as someone not respecting the, the, the building and whoever built it and whoever put the money aside to build the building. It's important that you don't just assume people are crazy or people are disrespectful or people are whatever. Take the time to really consider what else is it? Why, why would you deface something like this? If, if you built this building, and in, in order for you to build a building, you completely gentrified a whole area, a whole community. You, you pushed all those people out to build your nice buildings and to have your, your nice city view. And then you, you, when you go down to the street, you realize there's graffiti all over the front wall. Yes, it might not be nice to look at, but think of the people that you pushed out to have that building. Think about the, the, their angst, and their, that just doesn't go away. You understand? And, and for me, the, the, the way that unschooling works, it gives us a time, the adults to say, we have power, yes. Let's put that power aside and look at what our children are saying. Look, and it goes to racism. It, if you are the one with the power, let me put aside my privilege and try and understand what these people are saying. Same thing with sexism. If you are as a man are in the, this position, let me put my power aside and really consider what a woman is saying and not just assume that because I have the power, I'm the one that's right. So the mic is power and I want to acknowledge that. And sitting up on this stage gives power. <laughs> and I have the mic, so I'm going to take the power and acknowledge that. I'm going to say one more thing about bathrooms, because I think activism is also in daily actions and recognition of privilege. How many of us could walk into the bathroom that was labeled women and men and not think about the choice that we were making? So maybe an act of thinking about our privilege yes. is to walk around and notice where our privilege carries us every single day. And so I noticed it, and I didn't come to you and say there are no all-gender restrooms. Didn't fight for that. I don't know if my daughter had been here. I might have thought, I might have taken action, and I didn't. So I just want to acknowledge that every single action we take, the unconscious bias that is within us around all of these identities and structures and systems will play out no matter what. Power is always in play. We cannot set it aside because we are embedded in the system and structure. So while we try to analyze and understand 
and, and break down power. We also have to own that we have power and privilege in the ways we move about this world. And if we're not willing to confront that within ourselves, then it's just words. And often, I am just words. We all are. <laughs>